high developer so now we will start working on add to cart functionality and uh, you must seen in many e-commerce application like we can add to cart items without login and we will start with that part so in add to cart we have to make uh, four or five videos that that cannot be complete in one or two videos because uh, that is huge and complex logical part all right so we will start with checking like user is logged in or not after that uh, we will make a service function that function will help us to add cart inside a local storage yes uh, we have to manage uh, our cart item inside the local storage if user is not logged in because if user is logged in then we can store data in database uh, uh, against the user right but if we are not aware like which user will gonna log in then how we can put this all data in uh, our database so we have to manage it in local storage and after that we will manage the quantity also like here you can see that we can buy more than one quantity of product we will just manage this thing also and at the last we will manage multiple uh, item in card with the local storage i will tell you how we can do that and at last we will test our complete flow like how we can just uh, remove one item two item or we just uh, can push the item in local storage and all right and uh, uh, keep in mind guys here we are not going to display the cart item inside that uh, cart area like you can just see the cart item inside only local storage and in next part we will just display our uh, cart item count there and uh, you can also not see any remove to cart functionality in this part we will do that also in next part so now let's start uh, with the product detail page dot html so i'm just going product detail component and here i am just adding a event like click and after that we can see that add to cart function will call there and we have to just declare it inside the product detail so i am just making up that card here and uh, we can just uh, make a console dot won like uh, which if you just want to print the product uh, uh, data right so this is the product data but you have to just check that uh, data is there and uh, there is a no issue with the api and front end so you can just check that if this dot product data is there if this is not undefined then we can check this data all right and as i told you there like uh, we have to uh, just manage like how we can just put the multiple quantity right so we have to manage that thing thing also so what you can do that simply there this dot product data dot quantity equal to this dot product quantity but again you can see that there is an error inside the quantity because the the product data is a type of uh you can see that product and here we don't have any kind of quantity right so we have to fix that so just put there quantity and that will be type of undefined or number right and now you will find that just that this error is just gone from there right and now if, if you will check uh, the product detail you you will also see the quantity there so let's check so if I'm just uh, putting there quantity five and just clicking on our add to cart, you can see that we got the five quantity there, right? So that's great. Now the second thing that we need to check there if user is logged in or not. So you just need to check there local storage dot get item and here you can check that user. If user is not in local storage, that means user is not logged in, right? And now we have to hit a uh, uh, API there right uh, sorry for uh, the service there so we have to create a service function so that we can call uh, this service so just jump on a uh, product service dot ts file and let me just create a function with the name of let's say local add to cart or something local add to cart right and here we will get the data as a data parameter right all right and that can be a type of product all right and after that we can just simply take a variable with the name of cart data and that will be basically a array and now we can check that do we already ha have some data inside our local storage or not so that let's put put there uh, let local cart 
is local storage dot get item and we can just put that local cart is there or not right like this and if there is no data in local cart right if there is a no data in local cart then what we can do that we can push this data to the local storage right so now just simply put there local storage dot uh, set item and you can put our, our uh, local storage uh, cart key and uh, in a second parameter we can simply put their uh, data but as a array because there can be multiple data but we cannot just directly uh, store this data we have to stringify it right so just put this local uh, th this data as a stringify format and uh, if we already have data then we will just get uh, console inside it like uh, you already have data so what i'm just going to do there i am just uh, clicking over there add to cart and uh, let's check do we get something inside our local storage uh actually not because I, we just forget to call this function okay this is the just last one because before just making this video i was trying that is adding or not so just let me remove it we don't need that and now if i'm just clicking over there you can see that we are not able to just get this data local storage because we have to call this function right so let me just call this function from there so this dot product service which is we already uh called there so and now we have to put there uh, dot local storage and we can just simply put there uh, this dot product data and now you will find that we can store this data in local storage so in a first click if i'm just clicking over there you can see that data is not there mm -hmm. Mm -mm. again guys my bad because we, there we have to put there local storage has no user data right so and i don't need this console also so i'm just removing it now i'm very sure that it will just add data sorry because i just made two mistake at the same point okay so if i'm just clicking over uh, just remove this local storage that i'm clicking over there and you can see that we got some data in local storage fantastic so, so if i'm just clicking over again then you can see that you already have data in local storage because we cannot just override the previous data right otherwise the over uh, the previous item in card that will be flushed out so what do we need to do there in that case just come back there and just take card data and uh, uh, we just need to you can say that uh, this we have to just parse this local storage data right because we already has data sent so that what we can do there we can just assign this data but we have to just parse data because that in the uh, uh look that is in string form so just i'm parsing it and after that we what we can do that cart data dot push so that cart uh, data could be a second item there all right and uh, at last one just copy this line and just replace this data because uh, cart data is already array so i'm just removing the brackets also and here we go now you can see that we are able to get multiple data there all right so i'm just going home again and uh, if i am just let's say i just want to buy shoes right i just click over the few details there and uh, if i'm just clicking adding the five item in local storage and clicking over there now you can see that in local storage we have two item with the five quantity even if i just refresh this you will still find that we have data in local storage right we have two data uh, first one is four and uh, second one is uh, 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 the second one is with quantity five and first one with the quantity zero so you just want to add third item also that could also be possible let's say you want to just add laptop with the quantity of 
10 add to cart and here we go with the this one even there is a uh, just added in little bit because i will just fix it in the next part if i'm just adding a three item and just uh, clicking on the add to cart you can see that one more item is added with the same hp laptop so there should be a remove to cart button there right not add to cart so because if this product is already added in the cart so will that will do in the next part so that's all for this part if you still have any kind of confusion any kind of doubt you can ask me in the comment box and please guys support me by subscribe my channel like this video and share your feedback in comment section